So in the previous video, we talked about defects and use use of continuous integration to reduce those by providing immediate feedback. Now we're going to talk about uh, the two more concepts. One is continuous delivery and deployment. Now, a lot of times we talk about CI and CD together in the same breath. However, there is a clear difference between the continuous, uh, you know, integration, continuous delivery, and continuous deployment. Now, talking about continuous delivery is just an extension of continuous integration. So there is a clear difference. It's not about, you know, well, with continuous integration, you go all the way from writing your code and, you know, checking it into the repository, a central repository, which is then followed by uh, the automated build, automated test, and um, maybe a deployment to um, sort of a staging or a pre-production environment. And the purpose of continuous integration is to give you the immediate feedback. Whereas continuous delivery goes one step further and with continuous delivery you want to make sure that whenever you write a code you if one is you maintain the build screen and your build is always ready to release it's the business which decides when to release that product but from the automation point of view and from the test and builds and uh, making sure it's all um, it's all okay um, you know, you are always ready. So when whatever changes you're making, you should be in a position to deploy it with a click of a button. And that's what continuous delivery is all about. And um, this is an example of, um, of that. On top, what you see is continuous integration, which goes from uh, test to release to deploy. This is staging release, deploy to test, and uh, you generate the documentation. And you stop there as an automated process. You also have a process which goes and deploys it to a pre-prod and prod environment if needed. But generally, that is done in a sort of a manual way, right? You don't always automate that process. Whereas in continuous deployment, you go all the way to deploy to production for every changes that you make. Now, a lot of companies do continuous integration but there are only few companies which do the continuous deployment and what you see on the uh, you know the bottom side is the continuous deployment and there are companies such as google and amazon which um, you know do the continuous deployment where every changes uh, that you that they make every features that they are creating uh, goes all the way to the deployment now how do you do the deployment automation there are again some specialized tools some generic tools which allow you to do that let's say if you're on a cloud you have tools such as code deploy on aws um, you have tools such as octopus for windows based .NET based deployments uh, you have a very popular tool called as capistrano which is used for a lot of open source um, deployment projects and um, you can always use scripts to do that as well uh, you could also use tools such as ansible Ansible is a versatile tool and it appears everywhere, right from provisioning automation to configuration management to deployment automation as well. And the new way of deployment is also the Docker-based deployment that includes Docker and Kubernetes. So you have tools such as these um, like Ansible, Chef and Puppet, which, is, which are like more like configuration management tools. Um, and you have new generation tools or new way of doing that or the future would be mostly the Docker based and container based. That's what that's how I see things to happen. Uh, now, continuous deployment is not continuous release. You can deploy things, but not release a new version of the product always. And uh, you can do that in a many different ways and you can define your own strategies. And some of those strategies include blue green deployments. Blue green deployments are basically you have one set of uh, servers running which are live, whereas you create a parallel infrastructure and you cut over to that. Canary is where you um, deploy to uh, like few number of, so you have version one uh, running on like uh, majority of the servers and you release version two just to try out how uh, that would, you know, uh, that would turn out to be. You get the feedback and then based, based on that you decide uh, how to proceed. That's Canary. You can also decouple the services. That's what you do with the most of the, uh, inf uh, you know, microservices based architectures. Uh, you could also have feature toggles where your releases or your, you know, your deployments are there for weeks, but you only switch over to the new feature by using 
an application or code uh, feature toggle um, you uh, or a configuration you just change that configuration and the new release is activated that's also easy to roll back you can also write contingency switches when you do the releases so there are different ways to release your product and uh, we just talked about continuous integration to continuous delivery to continuous deployment and the difference between the three and the release strategies in the next one we're going to talk about uh, monitoring mainly that's also part of amplifying the feedback loop mm -hmm.